now I'm going to talk about some of the poll and chat features. So let's first take a look at polls. So I'm going to click on the three dots at the bottom for more options and I'm going to select the option for polling and the polling panel will open on the right hand side of the screen. You can import in a poll that you've previously used or saved. Um, it's a special poll type file just for WebEx meetings um, or you can create one on the fly. So down here at the bottom you have the option to choose between a single answer, a multiple choice answer, or a short answer option. So I can choose single answer and then I'm going to choose new to add a new question and it's going to give me the question up here at the top. So I'm going to ask did you have a good summer? and then I have to have my answer options so directly underneath you're gonna have an option for answer so we're gonna add an answer that is yes and then we're gonna add an answer that is no so I have the question in did you have a good summer yes or no and then what I can do is I can choose to record individual responses so I can gather who said what not just an overall poll if I wanted to um, that option is there for you so I am going to choose that and then underneath you've got another button that says um, options if you click on that you can choose to display the timer so students know how long they have until they have to submit an answer the default is five minutes but you can change that I'm going to just leave it so I'm going to click OK and then I'm going to open the poll for my users click OK and then now it's waiting it shows they're in progress and then on the other screens um, for my users the poll is going to pop up for them to be able to um, take the poll and then they will answer and then submit their response and then I can see that everyone is finished at the very bottom that's the status of my poll um, I can also see the time remaining if needed and then up at the top I can see the answers as to um, not necessarily who answered what but I can see an overall listing of um, the overall who answered um, if I want to when I'm done if I want to see individual results I'm gonna click close poll and then now from here at the bottom what I can do is I can share with attendees so I can share the results so I can click on poll results and hit apply and it's going to share this uh, screen with the students but they would be able to see overall what did everybody answer and then they would also see their answer on the screen as well you can also share individual results this is going to open up a um, new screen um, and automatically share the screen with them and it's going to share this uh, individual poll results the overall um, that we shared with everybody and then it will actually share who said what so that just depends on if you want to share that um, with everybody so I'm going to close this and it's going to come back and we'll talk about sharing con about sharing the content um, in another video but this one does it for you automatically and then to come back you would just hit that close button um, then I can do another poll if I wanted to so I'd hit new poll at the bottom do I want to save the poll questions if I want to be able to come back to this data later I would click yes and then I would save that make sure you pay attention to where it goes to um, and then save that information with um, a note in there so you could do attendance this way as well are you here yes or no and there is my other one as well to save so that is in there so that I can now come back in here and I can ask that question again so there's my question and then I have the results saved as well so I'm going to do another new what 
is your favorite movie. And then I do have to give them a place for their answer. So where it says answer, you are going to click add. Um, that way they do have a box or you can click underneath like I just did. Otherwise, um, the students aren't going to be able to answer. So I'm going to hit open poll. The presenter wants me to poll, say yes. And then now I have the option where I can type the answer in. So make sure you put in that answer box or else they are not going to be able to type in a response. So both of my participants have uh, finished. Notice the bar graph is blank because it's a short answer question, so it's not going to um, give you that nice graph like the uh, multiple choice question does. So I'm going to click close poll. If I want to see the results, I can click poll results. And what this is going to do is just show the participant what they answered overall. And then if I want to see all the individual results and be able to share them with everybody, I would do individual results again hit apply and then now I can see and everyone participating can see who answered um, what because I'm sharing my screen now with them. So it just depends on if you want to um, share that out with everybody. Again, you can save these results so you can refer back to them later if you need to. You can save them now or you can save them when the meeting ends. Um, so that's polling. Then um, let's look at the chat box. So if I click on the chat option at the bottom of the screen, let me close the polling panel. Um, your chat will appear here. You can chat as the host to individual um, participants. Um, by default, uh, the participants cannot chat with each other because that's a setting we looked at when we set up our meeting. Um, and it's a default for um, all personal rooms to also not allow attendees to have personal chats. Um, so you can chat with everybody. And it would record for those participants where they can also um, chat back. So on the um, iPad app version, there the chat panel is in the same spot as the participant panel. So that's how they would toggle between um, the two. And then this chat can be saved. Now you have to make sure that you save the chat before you end the meeting because once you end the meeting the chats and the polls go away. So there's two ways you can do this. We saw that we saved the polls individually within that poll panel. Um, here we were able to save that question and we were able to save um, the poll results. From the chat panel there is no way to save it here in the panel. Instead what you have to do is go to file save and then you have the option to save the chat. You can also save the poll questions and poll results here as well um, but we've already saved them so that's why it's not giving us that option. So I would click chat and then again, here is my information and I can save this as biology chat in case I needed to save those questions to be able to come back to them later or I need documentation for anything. That's why you might want to save that chat file. Those, um, the chat and the um, poll results, this is what the chat looks like. It's just a simple text file. Um, but it is time and uh, date stamped and then the results from my poll um, same thing it's just a text file it's not uh, formatted all nice and pretty and then here is that other um, poll result as well so it's just a text file that gets saved and then when you are ready to end your meeting um, you also have the option that it should ask you, do you want to end the meeting for all participants? And it gives you the option to save the file. So if you click that check mark, you can also save everything into one location. Um, I would change this default folder that this goes to. So instead I would click browse and I would save this maybe to your desktop or to a downloads folder. Just make sure you know where that's going. So that is going to my name on the computer. 
or you can save it to a flash drive or the desktop, whatever you want to do, and then hit end meeting and it would save all of those files into that folder. So that is your chat and your polling features in WebEx.